just getting uh we're gonna go peek in and listen to this um briefing here on the u.s side Our mission is uh, pretty simple, uh, locate and destroy. Uh, we're going to do that by having a forward recon team uh, led by Sugat. He's there at Mosque at the moment in the S79. I'm going to be running the mortars with my uh, small band of uh, mortar crew. Flick is going to be uh, having one fire team come with me in the lodge rocket live, and his other fire team will head on foot to the mortar location. After that, he'll then start pushing southwest. Evan's going to be heading on live on foot to gas station. That is uh, India 77, just to the west of Sugar's position. Raj is going to have the MRAP. He's going to locate himself centrally on the mark somewhere approximately around India 74. He'll do so by having his infantry support the MRAP. Uh, his primary role is to hold our centre, be a base of fire as we salt the compound. We'll salt the compounds in the following order. We'll start with the first compound, Hotel 73. Once we have that secure, then we'll move on the compound in Hotel 751 and then sweep south if we haven't come across the bomb maker at that time. Just remember, exfil is India 755, located with the yellow fob mark. Any questions? All right, guys, have fun. Squad leaders, break them out. We've got about two minutes before live. Use it wisely to brief uh, your flight team. I'm not... Uh... I'm... I'm, I'm... I don't know how I would approach this myself. Blackbeard, what do you think of the initial plan here from our U.S. Commander Lawndards? It's not... Um, it's not bad as we go live. It's not bad at all. Um, equally, I think Pony's got a pretty good perspective on this as well. Um, I think he's not he's not playing too far ahead. He's just basically... He's expected to take contact early. He's got some good shooters, actually, in his uh, in his squad with him uh, so i think they're hoping that they're, they're going to slow him down long enough to get the initial reinforcement i believe it's coming from bag of joe squad who are hauling ass south across the rivers uh, to try and get there uh, before we go before we go too much further let's actually go over who's doing what here so lawn darts is running us this round with uh sugar evita sma razor and flicker or did i mess that up no, that looks right to me. Oh, yeah, on US. Whoops, I'm looking at the wrong thing to try to check myself against. And Pony is running INS this round. They're going to be in red. Bag of Joe, Stalker, Nuclear Twister, and Sloth. Yeah, good teams, actually. Like, uh, pretty... I mean, possibly a slight edge to uh, Lawn's team here. But I mean, none of these SLs are slouches. They're all they're all pretty good, even if they've got, um, you know, they're even if they're not quite as long in the tooth. Yeah, that, that's not exactly their first radio. Exactly. Uh, and speaking of uh, speaking of, there's a lot of uh, pickup trucks and uh, and bikes moving quite angrily toward i don't know how you drive a pickup truck angrily but we'll go with it uh past the radio tower uh they're bringing in a lot of dudes with uh, great haste here assault out front on his uh, motorcycle about to link up with uh bag of joe squad who have walked a couple couple hundred meters off live still the windows closing i think uh in terms of uh, the danger time for, for Pony and his squad out on this forward position. Yeah, they're just trying to get eyes, and I don't think they're able to spot anything. Yeah, Sugar doesn't see anything. So, um, we could see the U.S. platoon slow down now that the the Lodgy and the MRAP have made it up. Yeah, you'd, you'd have expected to yeah. see movement uh, from that recon team. Uh, in one of the uh, west uh, western compounds, uh, obviously your, your vision's not great the of the, the one in the far south, the one that they're moving, um, I think Nuclear Twister's moving through at the moment, or just south of. Uh, so this should give you a decent indication that 
Uh, okay, uh, if they're going to be, right, we need to be uh, careful no about this, this southern side. Uh, the walls are high on these compounds, so um, the fact that you can't see in and you're not seeing movement elsewhere should tell you they're probably at this location. Yeah, actually, Sugar has just spotted. Uh, looks like Stalker and a fire team, or it's a sloth and a fire team in Hotel 715. I guess he spotted Ooh. the vehicle. That is a interesting one right, are they do they think it's this northern compound because this I, could be i think all they've all i've heard is uh sugar call the uh contact okay that's that's interesting uh because they've managed to flood in at least another squad onto the point proper now. and actually holding this holding this compound here is is great not only from a uh not only for the fact that it's one of the other locations uh, it's gonna you know, confuse matters for the US. But also because this, this compound actually covers the compound proper and covers the two major entrances on the north side uh, from the outside rather than having to cover it from where Best Pony and Efank are currently. So, um, so it's a strong thing to hold. And it looks like they're trying to give themselves a little bit of cover on the north side with uh, Assault leading a fire team uh, just to give it a bit of... Um, a bit of a buffer, a bit of a screen to the north side. Right now, U.S. forces, the uh, the operators are no longer really the forward force in the uh, platoon. Now there's a, a small buddy team of uh, Bartok, uh, Alpha, and uh, Hellcall here. They're the closest to the compound right now, and... Uh, they're calling. What, they're looking at a small wall and calling oh, no movement. Mm. Uh, yeah. I wonder if it's just going to take a while for U.S. to get in formation here before Londarts pushes off. But he is sending the squad north side of the uh, area. This is really interesting, actually. This Bartok uh, Alpha alcohol it's got an AR, and Bartok's running the uh, the operator kit, the Silenced M4 with the uh, explosives. Or it looks like he's got a GL, actually, on that. Um, he's got smokes, I think. I, wouldn't, I don't think I don't think he's got uh, HE explosives. Roger, approximate grid. The... Um, Irrespective, I mean, that's quite an interesting Understand mix of firepower in terms 480. of, uh, I think Hellcall's running the AR. Uh, they're moving in a sort of three-man, it's not quite a buddy team, but it's it's an interesting um, structure to throw, you know, to play around with. Um, it's not something that's particularly standard. We want to try and keep stuff to buddy teams and fire teams, but it's, you know, in the mix, it's, it's more than enough guys to hold a compound of the size that they're in currently. And a uh, so two, fire team, team the, uh, the fire team down to the south here got called out by Sugar. Sugar doing some work getting the calls in, but uh, U.S. forces just positioning, just posturing. Obviously, it's no secret where the U.S. are that uh, Logitruck truck is pretty inconspicuous sitting past the compound here. Yeah, it's quite a, um... Yeah, so... Two, it's bottom fire right, team's kind of... Two, four, five. Yeah. Directly. I mean, it's okay, it's good. Yeah, it's you like, obviously don't want people moving around down the map. Oh, if you look at map, I they, believe you know, that's where like the... Uh, the contact and, is. Uh, Django, etc. are trying to do. Um... You're a bit out on your own. Uh, there's no real support by fire that can be had by any other team to back this fire team up. Uh, it's not high walls. Um... Yeah, not a lot of opportunity. I mean, yeah, well, they're kind of I'm out on their own here. Gun, um, so. The guys no, on the compound proper don't really have eyes. Uh, yeah, they they you guys got to speed speed those guys are suck into southwest. trouble. Yeah, 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 yeah. They're sort of going to have to work out to get out of it on their own. Yeah, these guys down in the south here. U.S. forces have put, are probing about a... F and command doesn't want them pushing any far forward than they are. But some of them are pushing a little bit out there. 
I mean, it's a seriously dangerous try, thing to try and do, uh, push these map borders on, particularly on this map, just because there's, you know, you get caught out, you can, you can get two or three guys shredded pretty quickly. Um, just and here we go, I think Shikhart just got permission to engage. Roger, I was actually gonna, yeah, they're at that creek there. They're gonna, they're gonna try and cut us off. Okay, so Pony is inviting, uh, they're talking about how they've made contact right now. Twister's called out over the radio. Hey, by the way, we're, we're they're taking shots at us. Um, Pony yeah, is to telling them, look, as soon as you start hearing mortars or if they start hard committing, just pull back off that point because I think they want to try and bring I, I think they want the US to, to correctly push in as close as possible as quickly as possible so they can't bring the mortars to bear uh, it's gonna be interesting to see I mean lawns lawns no fall when it comes to this sort of thing so uh, he might try and slow this uh, slow this roll down well I mean I'll give you some help with that uh, no one's gonna have mortars until US can exfil Oh, okay. Well, ponies. Is, uh, pony, ponies is ponies expecting mortars? Did something change in the? Mortars. Hold on a second. I'm gonna double check the op doc just to make sure something hasn't changed. Yeah, they don't even get they don't even get he mortar. They get smoke mortar at the fob after uh, after they can exfil. Okay, so this is this is this is Pony uh, worrying this is about something that might not uh, occur. That by might not is not uh, small small issue on the uh, on the INS side. Uh, they've Vindication, who was in charge of this squad in the north, is uh, DC. It's so now Hound Dogs taken over. Um, not a bad option in terms of uh, people that we have. I've had him as an FTL a few times. He's pretty good. Let's see if he makes the step up in the interim. They've called out the contact moving northwest. Here comes the uh, MRAP again. It's shooting into the workshop compound. Meanwhile, uh, operator's gonna operate. Alpha Guido, Hell Column, Bartek Warrior just roll straight in along the water side here. They use the uh, the creek to get close. Certainly. Alpha Guido kills Jacko 800, question mark? Yep, there we go. Good kill. And there is a mortar. What? I am not, okay, not hearing things. Yeah. That is an actual mortar. No, that that is a mortar, and it is apparently targeting Hamdog, uh, according to the radio. But I don't see the detonations. No, the it's down in the south. It's way off target. It's targeting the southernmost potential compound and it's smoke interesting here it's a three-man team trying to take on the the hard point squad and a half plus command in this uh, in this compound pony is uh pony's telling everyone to tighten up on the compounds that they're in uh surprised they're not pulling more guys either west east or back onto the point proper let me know uh, at the moment two fire teams worth kind of static hanging out in the north i kind of want to think that they're just going to throw them at the he's going they're going to be thrown uh west here pretty quickly let's get behind a death void 
And yeah, Alpha Guido falls back. I wonder if Bartok put down a uh, charge. Yeah, Speaking he did. Devil. Oh, it was an IED. Oh, I mean, it's this actual, just because they're American, but yeah, effectively. <laughs> um, we do not know. Interesting, they've only got three guys uh, stacked up there and they went for the satchel hold on. charge. Yeah, can we come I'm to dig this down. Does someone watch that doorway? Copy, hold on. Oh, I'm just going to go ahead and dig down some, uh, some barbed wire. Just to make it easier for more people to come in. Crawling back. U.S. forces keeping still. Twister squad down here in the south is, uh, this is not being dealt with and it's... Uh, it's they've taken out one and they're damaging uh, damaging another guy they call out an entire squad pushing uh, along this road and they're aware of these guys in the map border sort of surprised I'm not sure if it's been called out in US comms but this these guys down at the bottom should be should be dealt with because uh, they can see everything that's happening here oh they know they're down there I don't think they've been able to get effective fire on that we position, though. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's fall back to the wall. They're, we're not going to make it up. They're going to see us in the river. Yeah. Shot, shot. We're taking shots. A little bit of back and forth going on here. The uh, attacking squad thought they, get a, they had a chance <gasps> to get out. What's it <gasps> we could, we could wolf this. It would right, be well, like... Right, smoke going out too. Should All wars incoming, right. see where that goes. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go, yes. I'll go first. Uh, you're more important right. than me with your kit. Uh, I think they're going to vault the wall here. Do it. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh... Right. Smoke mortar's still not effective. They're just blocking out nothing. Okay, Alpha's taking the wall now. You safe? Up and over, Bartok's, Bartok's doing the same thing. Get in there. I'm not sure if Akadi has visual, he doesn't. So there's nobody watching this this entrance into the compound proper from the orchard. If they were smart, they'd let Bartok go in with the uh, suppressed rifle first. Lots of fire. More smoke rounds hit. I mean, there's a real opportunity here for the U.S. They're right up on top of them. INS has got all ID. Another satchel that kills no one. My voice reaches new calibers when I hear that thing. Oh, another ID. Oh! The 3,000 IQ play. Hell call and Bartok get destroyed by an IED. Uh, now Alpha is feeling a lot more vulnerable here. He should be feeding back a lot of good information to the squads though, being like, hey guys, uh, IEDs are down and there's no one in these exterior compa ex external compounds. Death Magnet and music actually walk, you know, coming up on the south side. Um, There's so many IEDs out right now. Dash B about to... Is he entering the compound? Oh, this could get tasty. Alpha might not be long for this world. Will Alpha hear this? He's to this full out sprint. Wrong way. Oh, a trade. trade. Not really sure uh, Dash B should have traded there. I'm pretty sure Alpha was dead to rights, but... Yeah, well, Dashby didn't realize he was going to be right there. I think Dashby expected yeah. him uh, in the next little foyer over here, the next opening. But uh, regardless, the only thing he heard, the only thing... Uh... Well, you know, the good thing is, the good thing for the Americans, yes, they've lost their ground team, but they've, they took, they, they've burnt three or four IEDs. They managed to get another fire team up to the wall proper. Nuclear Twister Squad is still a problem. Uh, it's going to make it very hard for this fire team with modern death and fulcrum to approach. 
the compound from the uh, from the east. Just because Raptor Force is lying down, he's got perfect eyes. As soon as they evolve that wall, he's going to light them up. So for the US, they really need to deal with nuclear twisters, and they've marked it with red smoke now. That needs to be dealt with, uh, and then they can push the rest of the platoon in. Way I mean, up in the north. As, oh yeah, I mean, as far as options, they have they can roll the MRAP that way, and oh, the MRAP is shooting we, down south now. We are, but north, we got ships in the night within 50 meters. Sukar, Liberal, Viper, Imanons, and Lex Ryan have just walked straight past. Uh, Stalker's fighting here. Oh my. Uh, right past. Nobody's seen this. There's no way they're going to be able to tell. Yeah, there's, this is not... I mean, you've got to get super unlucky here. Unless Viper cuts his team back down and Stalker catches him, I think these guys... Oh, stand by. Suspected contact on police station. Oh, Stalker thinks they're in the compound. Oh no. He's gonna give his position away if they frag this compound. And maybe if Sug's squad moves too far west. No, I think I think well, yeah, they're just not they're just gonna ignore it, I think. I think Suge's squad is gonna come in around the backside of the uh, compound area they're gonna find They're gonna find uh, Assault's fire team where they're gonna find um Sloth's uh, main force here. The U.S. have moved about a squad and a half up now. A lot closer, but it's still a far cry from actually getting there. They're still losing people. Looking at two US kills for U.S. against six kills for INS, so... Yeah, the U.S. is... The U.S. is... They're taking guys who are peeking... Peeking walls that... They don't necessarily need to. They're getting bled. They're, get, they're, they're taking casualties that... Yeah, it might not be. They're not necessarily the most economical. They're not getting, you know, good. Usually, what you're trying to do is you're trying to trade, you know, for either time or, or space. And at the moment, they're not really making those trades with those with those bodies. Um, hopefully, we can, you know, the US can can tighten this up a little bit because they're going to need these bodies to take this compound proper. They're still going to deal with the fact that. Uh... The IED carrying members of the insurgents can rearm uh, their IED count. They can place as many of those things as they want. Uh, looks like some guys are on the move down bottom here. Chianga, Goon, Army, Muff Bandit, Harv, and Belba Fett. Uh, they're making another push down towards Nuclear Twisters. They've been itching to go for a while now. These and guys Groot, been on. Yeah. Groot's got shots on. One guy's holding up this entire push. Um, really, Nuclear Twisters, three dudes here are doing a lot of work. Locking down two avenues of approach for the US. He had more people over here. I wonder if he just lost them or... He had them fall way back. Up, way up in the north, I think... I think I think Sukart's going on the, the grand tour. Um, I'm amazed that they haven't seen Revy's fire team up here. Uh, I'm not sure if it's being called out over command comms, but uh, we've got Imon, Imon, Imonons and Lex Ryan looking directly towards this fire team. Uh, meanwhile, Viper, Sug, and Libra are going around to flank. I think they've worked out that these compounds are occupied. Oh, well, the smoke mortar gives it away. And that's gonna drive all the INS over here to fall back to a little bit more solid cover. And we've got the, uh... The US have somehow managed to get past Nuclear Twister's fire team, and they've managed to get, what? Three people up on the exterior wall? Four people. Modern Death, Boxier, Acorn, Demon Einstein, Lima Bean. Oh, and Sonic. So that's huge. Meanwhile, in the south, Muff Band is just walking up towards Groot's corner here. IED's going off! <laughs> TK oh, on Akadi. Not the best. Oh, Akadi's dead. 
Yeah. A little bit of a uh, suspected uh, shenanigan there. Oh, Boxy Boxy Acorn is... goes down. Yeah, his, I think uh... it was the Raptor Force. Uh, he's got an AR set up all the way back down here. Oh, and Raptor Force gets domed himself. Yeah, I think Muff got him. Okay, this is good. This is good. The US of the US are trying to clear out this up this this southern lot here. This is this is strong. Groot goes down and storms. Oh no, Muff Bandit. Sorry, Muff Bandit is yeah. is leading the charge. You can ask running them away off. into the smoke. Yeah, yeah it looks like nuclear's gonna get away. So I'm kind of fucked. So yeah, US are gonna get down. finally get control of that corner. So maybe more infantry can push in here. But right now there's a fire team plus with Stalker at the front. They've snuck around behind the MRAP. And guess what? Oh my word! Okay, big no decision to back. make here. Big decision to make here for Stalker. He can hear the mortar. Definitely hear the mortar. Does he go for the mortar or does he try and take out the the MRAP, which is, you know, an equally he doesn't know it yet, asset. but the MRAP has a uh, sandbag in front of it. So I think he's gonna probably. Oh, they've know. seen him! They've seen him! And there we go. Here comes the security. Cyclone and Ranger coming around. Good reaction from Ranger. Uh, right there. You know, immediately Total War's got the suppression going and Ranger's immediately moving on that to try and to try and eliminate that. that out. It's important given the fact that Lorne is completely on his own. Uh, although DB's cookie's gone down. I don't know how that happened. Okay, so bad news to the US, there's a fire team in behind their lines. Good news for the US, they've cleared out this fire team in the south, uh, which gives them open access to the compound on two sides. Meanwhile, Sug is out here on his own. I assume his buddy died. Just circling uh, around and everything us. is. It's not gonna. It's not gonna help them get there in the long run. They've, just, they've got to burn through two compounds that are occupied by. A squad. That's going to be a, a tricky one for Sug, Viper, Lex, and Imminence to, to manage. Looks like Liberal has gone down. He was part of that that element. I think I think Sug's lot here are out of the fight. They're better off just pulling back and and going the back the way they came. Oh, meanwhile, bodies at this uh, stalker. Stalker yeah, flight. Deathcon just ate a bunch of 50 from the MRAP. And Razor's gonna throw some shots in as well. Kilo makes it back after Hamdog dies. And here we go, we're getting more... Uh, more adventure in the sense of... Uh, we are beginning to uh, probe the defenses. Okay, Jango in the south here, yeah, with the AR fire, taking, trying to suppress Death Magnet, Music, and Nuclear Twister, while Modern Death, Muff Bandit move up on the other side of the wall. There's absolutely no vision of this from the INS side. They can walk up with impunity. And it looks like Muff Bandit's about to do Chios that. In fact, the half Belba Fett and Chicken are both, uh, all three of them are moving up as well. Really nice collapse onto this compound proper. You hear the ARs go pretty, uh, they're throwing a lot of uh, rounds of the burst right there. I mean, if you hear that from range, you can just be rest assured that it's not aiming for heads, it's aiming for areas. I wish I could turn on the player outlines, but they don't exist. See, they exist for people that are behind a wall, but they don't exist for everyone. And I can't even get anyone 
in the uh, compound, so you're going to be stuck with this. So it looks like uh, Stork has gone down, or at least I can't see him. Uh, G-Man just goes down to Cyclone, who's on the uh, set up with an AR on the uh, on that compound. So now all that's left of this flanking element is uh, Cyan Obama and Kilo 9. Up against it's just Razor and Cyclone in the north of Total War, occupying the uh, MRAP to the south. Uh, these guys are going to have to hope for a bit of a miracle, really. Um, you know, if they can get some decent trades out here, that'd be good, but uh, unfortunately this flank has been, has been put to bed. It nearly worked. It nearly US, worked. Uh, US wanting to push in here. They had some smokes out, and, and Evans really next to the wall. I wonder if uh, these guys have added any more mo or any more IEDs to the area. Uh, nothing's come through from command. If something's gone down on a squad level, then uh, perhaps. It doesn't seem like it. I think they're very content to just sit inside and hold corners. Evan's got the east. Uh, Evan's about to breach, possibly from the east side. We've got Demon Einstein and Sunny trying to peek the south. Death magnets are in a great clear. position, though. Clear, clear. Hold. All right, get in the trees. Get in the trees. In so the trees. Uh, demons actually pushed into the compound proper, but death magnet and music got way round. Goon and army have realised that this. Uh, they, they pulled out this uh, this hey, huddle of uh, U.S. Look troopers north. moving through this gap now. Half Muff Bandit, Bubble Fett, Jenga, and Modern Death, trying to come in from the west side and cut them off completely. Start walking down this corridor. Wow, Muff Bandit. ID. Off, off target. It's a little premature, but uh, I mean, I, I think it's still, it definitely did what it did. I mean, it's a, if all oh, death magnet goes down, uh, if anything, it's just a little reminder, uh, the US have to take it slow. Uh, if any was needed, the giant explosion will tell you that the bomb maker is active. Uh, death magnet goes down, Opal and Russell T. Jimmy's are being suppressed, but the US have control of this compound, uh, the external aspects of the compound, three sides. Which is is huge. Belbafet gets domed from somewhere. Another operator down. Oh, here comes a preacher charge from Sunny. Yep. Uh, has Hawk heard it? Pony thinks it's over near him. Hawk hasn't heard it. I wonder if it's gonna kill him. Uh, oh, vanilla, vanilla charges don't go through walls, really. They do, but not a lot. We'll see, uh... Ours do. Uh, yeah, because I can confirm, Hawk is very much dead. He's, uh, he's not getting up on that one. Meanwhile, Evan just tried to run into the actual compound itself. Uh, he's dead. Because Bag of Joe's just leaning at the opposite corner. They have this, uh, hallway. Okay, Sloth is now being told he needs to haul ass from his rear position here. He's got a fire team, Patrick, Scottish chap, and then they spy. He needs to get from that position to the compound. Uh, Pony is, uh... Pony is, uh... Oh, yep, there we go. Yeah, he's, he's having problems. Um, but the problem that Sloth was going to have is he's not going to be able to get there. Because of this, uh, the security element, Goon, Army, and Snowfall, uh, is going to cut off Sloth as he tries to move in. See if they take casualties. U.S. I satchel. Dorf goes down. There should be a second one, I think. No, I think it's already dead. I think. Oh, okay. I right, think. In that case, yeah, Bagger Joe lives, and he was holding that position, so. And now the U.S. have moved the uh, the MRAP to the north side. So now the U.S. have control of all four external si uh, external walls of the uh, of the compound. Now, a Lord Arts has actually moved in with Sebi uh, to take this assault on it. Total War goes down. MRAP is now unmanned. He's taken out by Russell T. Jimmy's with his AR. That's done a lot of work actually protecting that north side. Hearing some grenades someone come watch through. West, someone watch west, someone watch west on the quarter. I'm watching west. 
So yeah, Lorne's all in it. Lorne's all in on this. Uh, this is Salt. He's not hanging about. He wants to get this. I think he's he's worked out that the RNS are about to reinforce. He needs to take this compound now with as minimal casualties as possible. The problem is he hasn't really he hasn't really gotten very far in the uh, the compound. And back at Joe, kill Sergeant Jackson there. It's just Tinkerbell trying to knock on the door. Oh, what a grenade, though. Oh, that, yep. Uh, that's a TK, technically. Oh, I'm on it. There you okay. go. Yes, oh. Let me know what's up. Looked like a, a dead nade. Oh, back at Joe goes down. Sunny on the roof. Nice one. Is there an ammo crate or a radio in here? Okay, Sonny has control of the rooftops, which is going to give him great opportunities to peek these three open uh, open courtyards. Yeah, there you go. Demon Einstein providing the platform for Lima and Sonny to come on up. Oh, and Pony, you're going to make a huge mistake here getting up on this roof. They got to see him first. Sonny's dead. Yeah. Uh, it looks like Oddball has got back into the compound with music. Oh, what a retake from the uh, from Oddball on music. They could do so much damage here. Some oh, tells me cool. US wasn't ready for it. Nope. Somehow the securities failed them, and I think this will end up being uh, an INS victory, uh, unless the uh, the most godly of breaches happens right now. Blondart says made it, and uh, let's see, yeah, Cyclone, raise your seer chest, they're coming out of the MRAP. Of course, the MRAP is already. So, no. I'm not sure how much value this is, is but he is giving great call out. outs, which is. Uh, yeah, there's a buddy drives. team left of Coming Stalker in. Squad that got wrecked at Mosque. Uh, they're sitting there providing call outs for all the movement of the US team. But now that the US team's inside these walls, they really need to, to come back and collapse in behind the US lines. I don't they think. Should. I think Razor. Razor, yeah, Razor, and CHS believe them to be dead. They were the security team. So I hear it. mm. It's a good opportunity for them to push in. All right, we need to get to that, kill what's ever near it, and destroy. Oh, assault's gone down. That's not good. Desert, uh, any nades? Nope, I'm not sure how long ago that was, but that was that was uh, Sloth Boy Squad trying to, to pull back onto the. This is not legal. Oh, where's Sugar? has been. Sugar needs to get in the hey, get in the fight here. I didn't realize they all were all over there just hanging out. Yeah, no, they've been they've been out of the fight for the whole round, I think, ever since they they passed Stalker's team. They need to get in gear. I wonder why they're still over here. Sear Chest and Razor hop back in the MRAP. I think they're oh, gonna try to. Are they gonna try and pick the squad up? That seems so to be too many guys. I think there's gonna be a uh, attempt to cover them, uh, or while they can get stuck in a tree too. There we go. I wonder if they just ferries them back and forth. So there's there's Kuba, Pony, and Matt Bob. Uh, and maybe Salty Potato, Ooh. don't get shot, just went you down. So there's right. four guys left. Point proper, Cyclone goes down. Cyclone's dead. Salty Potato's I... got himself a dark room. That's nasty. So Tinkerbell, oh, Lima Bean... He's the only two left on the point proper. Demon Einstein locking down the south side, but they do not have the bodies at the moment. In fact, Lima just gets tapped. Tinkerbell's pretty messed up. You got anyone with charge? I guess it was Oddball or Music. It was Oddball, and in fact, Oddball's pushing down. I think he's aware there's someone else on the north side. He's being tasked to clear here. this. this north. Yeah, we got Razor and Oddball are about to have a come together. Maybe Sloth Boy. Not an NSA spy gets tagged by Razor. Opal's aware of his position. Here and we go. Razor's about to go down. Oh my word! There we go. Well done. It's been called out by Opal as well. Where did Sugar go over there? I'm still trying to figure this out. Sugar, be advised, we did have a lot of contact to the south of the compound, so that's going to be somewhere out to your. Well, they're going to they're they're in for a retake at the moment no because well, he's uh, got. He's got three operators plus himself. This is the uh, 
I believe this is the Operator uh, Squad Lead class. So this is the Special Forces. Uh, he was the Ranger Squad, I believe. Yeah, yeah, that's right. No, it's not at us. That's overshoot. Yeah, my squad leader died. I'm the last one. Do you want me to just keep security in the same rep? Okay, so... Fuck yeah, please. What well, was looking quite shaky yeah, for about 5-10 minutes. Pony uh, situations really improved there, massively. Uh, there's now three people, including Command, uh, from the US team trying to push this no. compound. Uh, meanwhile, uh, who's this? Sloth boys managed to get his boys into the point proper. So... Uh, Pony using colorful language to explain to uh, the people still outside the compound to get inside. Well, very shortly, more uh, breach charges will come on over. Uh, San Obama and Kilo 9 are uh, still about 100 meters out, uh, but they are getting base? back onto the point. Yeah, well, and uh, I think we're about to. Bags, not the ones in the center. Is that you crawling? Not quite sure what the yeah. MRAP's doing, but okay. Uh, Seared is soloing the MRAP, so he's. I, I think he's just trying to figure out a better position to cover uh, Shukart as they get back inside here. Or the MRAP is actually stuck. Yeah, cold. I wish I could I turn off all the cameras, man. Uh, I mean... Frag out. I hope that frag doesn't need you. I gotta be able to know where stuff is. IED goes all off. Right. Oh, that's a preacher charged. Alright, Sook's bringing his guys in now. I think he got the wrong direction. Lex Ryan is gonna be the point man on this. Sandbag through, you're in a motor hole. Salted potato with a little pre fire there. Uh oh. Alright, Sloth Boy firing out that way that as well. Pony's calling it. This is the big push. This is the, this is the push that they're going for. I'm gonna. Great read by him. Alright, on the other side of this doorway. And Sugar's squad's still hanging out. You know, I, it's. Here comes, uh, silenced M4 fire. Ooh, Sebi taking, takes out Sloth Boy. Scotch Cap. Returning fire. No, down. Sebi doing work here. And this is the entrance, and Soy Potato as well. So this is the entrance they need. They're, they're in the western buildings now. This, this is huge. They have their foothold. Or well, they should be pushing into the western buildings because they've just killed everybody. Has I got a bomb. One on the sandbag work. I got nothing. Okay. Pony calling out a possible satchel charge placement. I don't know if that actually happened, but. It's not yet, I don't think. So it's now Oddball, Matt Bob, yeah. Pony. Oh, and music. Satchel being. Satchel has been placed on the west side, I think, They're by Imanoz. Music goes yep. down to Sebi, possibly, again. You know, it's too bad you can't just put a Satchel in one place to throw, throw a grenade on the opposite side of the compound. Well, this is this is why it's a good idea to, you know, coordinate, get one Satchel down on one side, one on the other side, uh, and don't give them any okay. other run. Stagger yourselves on the fucking walls, guys. Sebi doing work actually this round. Three kills, all from this. This Here goes. Met Bob is hey, holding hey, the run, corner, run, and run, Sebi run, is. Uh, oh, they're gonna call. Uh, run the rabbit. You basically, just run through, and we'll come with you. Yeah. I'm gonna trade these kills. I'm going. I'm gonna follow you. Go go go. Down the corridor, down the corridor, down the corridor. Not bad. Here we go. Oh, Sebi goes down. Sebi's Sebi back. goes down. Do they get? Uh, they get Met Bob. I'm still yeah, in this Revy, Kubo, Oddball, and Pony. Very hard. To, it's gonna be very hard yeah, to take out Revy uh, from this from this approach. Ready. Three, two, one. Pre-fire on Kuba. Kuba's pretty messed up. That's the yeah, bandage. Yeah, 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 yeah. 
I'm dropping a satchel over here. Oddball's got himself a sweet position right now. Lex right, Lex right, Lex Ryan's got a. I think he's getting satchel charged down on Revy's position. Revy's called it, and he's going to get cut down here. Great coordination there. Uh, we're down to Oddball. Yeah, Oddball. Oddball, Pony, and Kuba are the only ones left in compound pro. Sukar goes down to Kuba. Now it's just Oddball, Pony. Will be told to reposition by Pony. Uh, That's not gonna happening. be a, gonna be a tricky one. I'll be honest, Pony. Uh, oh, Kuba you can climb down. under the stairs. You can crawl under the stairs. Le oh, okay. Lex Ryan takes out Kuba on the. So it's now it's just Pony and Oddball holding two sets of stairs. Reloading. And the U.S. have brought this round over here. There's some enemies between us. It's pretty close. U.S. 31 kills. Uh, INS 34. There's still, uh... Where did everyone else go? Reloading. Alright, I'm peeking. Alright, see you. Right, go Obble down. I'm gonna go one, guy dead. Dead. one guy dead. So, so now it's down to... Northwest corner. Yep, and they've called Reloading. out Pony, I think. Pony unaware at the moment. That he's the only one there. He's gonna work out in a second. He's being tagged and this he is can't probably... manage, so. Guys, give me some distraction. Put some shots. Oh, oh well. yeah. Well. Doesn't matter, he's dead. I think that's all she wrote. Yep, nice, that's it, nice GG. Job, US Great operator is clearing it in the end. Taking round one with uh -huh. a uh, pretty convincing, uh, pretty convincing win there. Yeah, that was a good, uh, good, rec good recovery by the U.S. At one point, it was looking kind of shaky, but that was uh, that was a really good, really good job. Yep. All right, we're gonna take a break, and we'll be right back with round two. We've got a bit of a uh, gumball rally starting here at the uh, at the INS spawn. Four four bikes, three technicals. Yeah, here we go. It's it's on, and we're live. Let's watch this race and see what happens. Should we, should we call it like Formula One? <laughs> and it's go, go, go. Evan SMA out the front in the first corner. <laughs> Closely followed behind by Demon Einstein. And it's uh, Boxy. I can't keep this up. My throat's No, gonna stop. Kill. No, Andrew. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so they're, they're not hanging about with Evan's squad, but. There seems to be a malfunction. And it looks like... Uh, guys, you do have to use the bridge cross servers, just, uh, yeah, be sure to take the next one, cop convoy. Oh. I'm sure they'll figure it out. Yeah, I'll be honest, I don't, I don't really understand what, what's going on there, but... Back to the, uh, back to the peloton. Yep, you uh, oh, yeah, well, you know. And... God, this is a hell of a distance. I didn't quite realize how far this was. <laughs> oh, no. Wow, that looked like Evan almost bailed on it, and Lima takes the lead. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do that. And then Lima hits the... Oh, my gosh. <laughs> See, it's 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 tempting, dude. It's tempting. It's tempting, uh, but I gotta commit to it. I gotta go straight yeah, into yeah. it. It's also, oh man, I. <laughs> where where are they going? They're miles away. Okay. <laughs> okay. At this point, Boxer has now hurt himself, and he is bleeding and stuck underneath the. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Oh. I think that's redeployed IEDs. Um, yep. 
That's redeployed IEDs, I believe. Sukhar's managed to get his squad in in this. Oh, glitched IEDs. Ignore me. Um, Sukhar's managed to get his squad in. Uh, they've reinforced the point proper now. Uh, Evan's squad is dismounted, I guess? Yeah, they've dumped the bikes and are now just going to push through, try and provide top cover on. Uh, on this platoon, they might eventually run into who's this? Who's this U.S. team? Well, the Scottish chaps here, Sloth Boys unit, way up on the map border, doing a patrol. I suppose we'll come back to that in about ten minutes when that's happened. Yeah, that, that makes about, that makes a lot of sense. Meanwhile, uh, as you might have guessed, Pony has made a deduction about where these guys are. And actually, it's really funny. Everyone leaves the compound, so <laughs> we're getting some major, uh, major super fobbing going on here. I mean, in about two seconds, you can call this Minecraft. Meanwhile, uh, Dorf. I don't want to say leading from the front. He's at the front of his squad, but he is about 800 meters behind everybody else. Uh, so uh, I guess they just walked out of Maine. They've got a bit of a jog going on. They're going to go far south, slough away in the far north, and it looks like the Ranger squad plus. Uh, who is in charge of this extra element? So it's not Oddball. Oh, it's Stalker, I think, wherever he's gone. He's way behind a squad, but I think it's actually Stalker. Uh, I've got to push up the... Everyone taking the time. Well, you thought we would take forever to go back up there, but we're going back up north because uh, Sloth Squad is just running straight towards uh, Fire Team. He's got Sunny Box here and Tinkerbell in charge of it. And, uh, rather Scottish chap leading this element. There's a wall between them right now. There's a few more walls, but if they just keep going at speed here, Scottish is just gonna, yep, he's Ooh, just gonna no. jump this. It's an AR as well, right out in front. If he gets, yeah. if he gets gunned down, that's bad now, news, Bez. If he does the dumb and jumps this wall, then I think we can all say he deserves it, but he's gonna run straight at it. He's Pretty reckless right now. Tinkerbell. <laughs> And, uh, Sonny just destroy him. Contact? <laughs> Contact? <laughs> question mark? Oh, well, there Ooh, you go. Sonny goes down. Destroyed. I mean, that's a trade. Even if you lose the AR, taking out a good a shot of Sonny. Oh, Patrick goes down. Made over the wall. Yep. Okay, so yeah. 10 minutes was about 90 seconds, but never mind. And it looks like... Evans just calling everybody off. They are not interested in this. Buddy team pulls back to uh, the rest of the fire team that's about 100 meters behind. Oh, Operator does have HE GLs. I didn't think they did. Meanwhile, back with, uh, back with the, uh, the hike. Dorf has brought up his, uh, his squad. Oh, it's not, uh, no, it's because each squad has a GL in it. I'm, I'm so bad. Uh, it's all right, you know. Oh, boy, isn't it? We all do in the end. Um, it's true. So yeah, Dorf, Dorf a squad up on the map border. Not, uh, not surprising to see. Uh, the, uh, the movement around the map border is, you know popular on this map, irrespective yeah, of the ops. Chicken and Modern Death are holding that corner down. Maybe another minute or two before they make contact, but um, I expect this uh, the southern squad to uh, to be calling out the movement in the south relatively quickly. Looks like an, did another, someone go down in the north, or am I seeing things? I'm seeing things. Yeah, it's just Scottish realizing that, uh, oh man, I'm actually down. Well, you know, the Scottish, not known for their lightning-fast reactions, and uh, thus proven here today on the stream. ID goes off, not sure where. Interesting one. That might have been a... Uh... 
I guess so. No, it's, another... it's right by the goon. I think it was because it's bugged. They were saying uh, there some ones earlier. Little... But, that we might be you know, in, compound, so just in game, immersion wise, we can just say Lawn's just really fond of blowing shit up. He's got to test. Meanwhile, he's got to test I his believe uh, Pony's misinterpreting that to think that. Uh, they think they're in contact. He thinks the INS are in contact with the compound. Interesting. He thinks he, th he thinks they think they're in contact. Meanwhile, uh, Boxer and Tinkerbell get out of that sticky situation there in the north uh, with a fire team's worth of base of fire. And Sloth uh, just now reported in everyone's heading west. And oh, hold getting, up. Word, uh, getting word that they're just going to hang position. Okay, so it's, sorry, it's Bag of Joe that's the uh, Bag of Joe's at the squad lead. So I was just uh, was a bit concerned that Dwarf, if he was the SL running out in front, about to run into modern death. Uh, I don't know if these guys have been seen. It looks like they have. I imagine Dwarf is going to be calling this out. Uh, interesting. And then in the middle, finally, this is pushed up. Uh, Nuclear Twister with his uh, MRAP is uh, they're making good progress in the middle. Stalker Della Note's got his southern flank covered. They're putting two through the middle, and they should be in contact. Yep, and Bag of Joe calling it up to chain command H eight four three. So yep, that's uh, I believe that's Flicker Squad. You know what's great here, actually, just looking up in the north, the South Police Squad, they lost two guys on an initial contact, and uh, they've still pushed up very aggressively, very aggressively, which is uh, it's really good to see, actually. That's, uh, that's some good air selling. You know, you've taken casualties, but, you know, don't take that as your indication to, to sit down and not move for five minutes. So, uh, props to Swath for doing that. Uh, here comes the uh, uh, Dushka taking on the move. As the smoke mortars question mark are here, and they hear the technical. Russell and Jimmy sets himself up to uh, just throw bullets at the compound. Yep, they pulled out the chain now. They think they're being assaulted. Um, I mean, the MRAP shooting them makes sense. Death Magnet and the MRAP both providing covering fire while the rest of the squad move up. ID pop prematurely. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, the unarmed animations are funny. Yeah. Yeah, they, they do. <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> what is happening? It's uh it's an LED glitch with uh animation. Oh my god. Okay. Well, this No, this it's is because great. it's no, it's just because they were in the kit and then you move your camera away, but when you come back no nothing oh, gets updated. Uh oh, Raptor oh. Force gets killed by friendly AR fire. Dude, I think it was a GL. Yeah, Raptor was the squad's GL. Ouch. Uh, meanwhile, okay. I'm pretty sure they just set a uh, a satchel on the uh, compound there, so Alpha's Whoa. dead, Bartok's dead. Those are not two guys you want to go down early. Um, interestingly, we've got a lot of things are actually happening on this map at the moment. Not only is this this main assault happening with uh, Nuclear Twister Squad, they're pulling in Sloth Squad from the north, and they're pulling him in early. Now that could leave him exposed to, uh, to Evan Squad in the north, who are just sort of happy to sit there and lie in wait, ready to come in at the last. No, this is something no, no, no. they have to do. Pony has to do this because he doesn't know how much of an advantage he has right now. The fact that he's got caught so much in here. So in the bottom now, Akadi just got taken out by the technical. I think Jack's taken a taken a a tap from that as well. Uh, that fire, that squad's pulled back a little bit. 
for the uh, yeah Dorf is Dorf's uh, sorry Bagger Joe squad uh, and Dorf's fire team are kind of locked down in these two southern fields uh, by a, a fighting ish. Uh, really good movement from that tentacle to get to get those guys pinned there. Squad in the south with the uh oh that seems to be a little bit a little bit of misinformation there. The Dishka rolls a little bit more for the south now. Let's go, fall back. Oh dear. That's bad. Uh Evan's squad has just back. called out uh not an NSA spies movement Remember, along the uh, north side uh, uh, by the river. Box your acorn and tinkerbell with the scouts. So uh one has eyes on all of this. Ooh, that's actually real bad. If they push down, I don't think they have enough security up there. They could get all three of those guys really quick. Yeah, it's gonna be uh, it's gonna be a problem. Now, will Dave cover this? Because uh, Revy and Assault and Dave are back here behind. I mean, Dave's looking that way, but I don't know if the terrain's working in his favor here. A lot of trees. I, I guarantee you it's up. not. What's, what's the yeah. They don't They don't have eyes on it. He doesn't have eyes on it. Although, if he got on level, he would definitely have eyes on it. Um, looks uh, like Tinkerbell Bagot. and... Yeah, go ahead. Tinkerbell and... I guess they're, they're trying to make their way towards the mortar. That seems to be exactly what they're aiming for. Yeah. Rage is calling out... Uh, ops, uh, special horses guys on his wall, and uh, Bag of Joe's actually pulled his guys back off that those fields in the south, so they might try and find another route back into the fight. But uh, I think the main action is going to be found, presumably, on this assault. I think they, uh... Okay, yeah, they called the mortars out. Evan's, yeah. Evan's got a pretty good grid on it at the moment, so they're gonna go and try and knock those. Uh, only problem they're gonna have is the... That's a, that's a lot of guys to commit to, to taking out these mortars. Uh, oh, is he throwing an entire squad at it? Yeah, that's... Yeah. That's definitely assuring yourself you got the mortars to deal with, but... You know... Another Another problem I think we're going to be having here is that Pony's committing two squads to a compound that... Does he know that the... Does he think the bomb maker's in this compound? Or does he think it's in the other one? I don't think he's so. Committing a lot to a, yep. He's committing a lot to a compound that he doesn't need to clear. Oh, no. Maybe he does think this is the compound. Hell call down. Call. Yep. There's a grenade. Is it clear? stay down. Uncle Niner's dead, uh... I think it was devious or total. I think it was total. Oh, is that the compound? Cyclone, the only guy left in that compound proper, but... You know... Oh, actually, he's pulling out. Is he pulling out? No, he's staying in the corner. He could cause a lot of damage here. It's a really nasty compound to try and breach this. It's a split compound with one major arterial route through to two parts. And Cyclone has got that doorway locked down. A lot of smoke being used for this compound, though. But it's just, uh, it's just Razor and Cyclone here. So, just an update in the south. Uh, they've Bag of Joe's pulled all the way out, and he is actually pulling. Uh, he's going north now. They're in Pony's compound from round one, and they're presumably going to try and move from that location uh, onto the compound proper. There. Looks like they are all in on this, this. This compound that isn't the uh, isn't the objective, uh, which might be a bit of a rude awakening. Meanwhile, Evan in the north uh, haven't really moved off this point yet. I think they saw the M wrap and and are now just locking that down. I mean, are they going to try to get over there and? They, they don't have just told Evan. No, but Lorne has just told Evan to go and take it out if they can, so... Mm. Evan has his task. 
I think what I want to see here from uh, from the uh, this southern squad, uh, this Flicker, Modern Death, uh, Ooh, Tom, we're in Nightmare Trade, and there's another Engineer Charge, getting no one. Although Cyclone made a chance, or took a chance to run away. Interesting. Razor's in the... Razor's an SL is the only one left in that, that compound. Interesting. So, I think, uh, I think Lorne needs to be redeploying these, these assets in the south. They haven't had contact for a while. It's the responsibility of this, this, this fire team in the south to let them know. They pulled off. The ramp gunner's dead. And Groot's just gonna run that uh, MRAP straight in. Are we oh, I think there's some miscommunication about a. There we go. In fact, uh, in fact, the uh, the technical has been told to pull back by Lawn. They're gonna. They're going to uh, read it. And I think the MRAP's... The MRAP just hit a mine. Yeah, it's disabled. Yeah, it's lost all the tires. This is pretty standard when the MRAP hits a mine now. But it's not dead. I found this out in V14 the hard way. I was on a server and I ran over mine in the MRAP. I was still rolling them like, I don't even know what happened. No, I'm going to cut you off. I think Ray's has just gone down. Last man left in that yep. compound and they... Now they must know. That's this not is here. not the objective compound. Meanwhile, Evan is about to run his squad up. Oh! Takes out Revy with a grenade. Groot and Assault get tagged. Uh, yeah, Evan's, Evan's running a squad into to Assault. Hamdog, G-Man, Santa Bomber, Deathcon here. Oh no, Groot is somehow Groot. still alive. Yeah, Groot and Assault are still alive. Uh, Sergeant Jackson eats a grenade. And... Wow, these guys got here just in time. Groot's dead now. There's a lot of US forces left here. A lot of US forces. Uh oh, Assault got hit again, and there goes... Crawl back to me, Death Con. I can hear you. Crawl back to me. Yeah, they were within 20 meters. We're, uh, engaged. So this is really quite... This is quite nice. They've managed to basically cut off Evan's squad completely from the rest of the platoon. If, uh... If they're smart about this now, they can uh, they can get the Sloth Boy squad and the rem remnants of uh, whichever unit uh, Hamdog's associated to. They can just keep these guys in the river, maneuver on them, defeat in detail, and then uh, and then focus on the focus on taking on the compound proper. This is a, a huge moment for the U.S. Evans sort of let them led them into a. It could have worked. They got a few kills, but they're now stuck in a river with very little cover and only two real ways to move. Uh, move they are. Yeah, there's really not a lot left for US to do. They just have to mass up and just go for it. They're still in two real different groups. The group north of the river, the group south of the river. The group north of the river is about ready to get, you know, hit in the back. Although Evan is throwing a fire team to the west here, and uh, this could be bad. This is, I think, this is an attempt to try to cut off access to the river and the bridge. Oh, it's a CQC fight here with Hamdog and Boxy. They're within three feet of each other, and Boxy goes down. One's gone down. Uh, stand by. Believe that Evans. Evan just went down. So Evan's squad's now very split up. Uh, Tinkerbell's left on his own uh, with three or four guys between him and his, his the rest of his fire team. Demon Einstein, Nova, and Lima Bean, uh, Lima Bean, sorry, uh, are stuck in this. I don't know what the hell this is. It's a sort of orchard, I guess. I mean, so, yeah. it's, you gotta you gotta separate you gotta separate plants for some reason. I don't know. It's Magic. uh. Yeah, so this is this is not good. This is uh, this is a squad that's kind of been thrown to the wolves a little bit now. Um, Lima, Nova, and Demon Einstein are going to do really well if they can get back into the into the compound. In the grand scheme of things, so uh, insurgents really have a have a leg up here, I think, on U.S. Well, I'm not sure. I mean, they've lost that. They have lost the U.S. Have lost their MRAP, but. Um, 
the bag of joe's got some nice control in the east there's some Ooh, decent GL control in coming in now army just eats one at about 50 meters i think this is fairly finely balanced this can go either way quite quickly I think, uh, oh man, the, Evan, the remainder of Evan's squad are still here doing nothing but keeping the guys, uh, keeping, what is this squad, um, not Bag of Joe's squad, whose squad is this? Okay, this techie's fucking us up. Worth noting, uh, Worth thinking, ponies moved up to NSA's position, so there are no more mortars being fired. This is all going to come down to a CQC fight and uh, compound breaching. Pony being very aggressive, actually sitting right up on the front line. Looks like there's... INS have two guys back at Radio Tower. Storm and Snowfall. Now, this is interesting. They are very much out of the fight, but they are making sure that nobody tries to flank the compound and assault it from the west. So, uh, intelligent placement there. Lord's managed to hold hold on to his, his southern compounds, so his southern side's secure. Oh, is that her? Are they the scouts? Storm and Snowfall. Yeah. Uh, well, I mean, they're scouts... scouts that means they're basically there to set off IEDs. Let's have a look, see. Ah, yes, they are. Yep. They are scouts. Yep, they've set all their IEDs ahead of time. They're just there to set off IEDs on command. I mean, it's a great play. Obviously, you do that because you want because your scouts stay alive and. They can keep eyes on stuff, or they could just listen to you, and you just tell them to blow whichever one you want. Yeah, exactly. Um, okay. Kind of surprised. No, no, for Tinkerbell just should uh, should bug out. Oh, whoa! Tinkerbell got back. He was way off in his own. Well done yeah. to him. Lima, Lima Bean's dead. I'm guessing. I can't see him anyway. Yeah. So. Right. So these two just need to bug out west. No, he's at south. Yeah, he is dead. Freaking cameras! Oh my gosh! Yeah, anyway, wait, sorry, yeah. yeah, I know. Sorry. Um, okay, yeah, maybe okay. US have a better idea, have better, uh, have a better chance here than I initially gave him credit for. It. I mean, it is it's, even. It's still, it still can go. It still can go the INS way. They do have heavy weaponry, uh, but the the US have control of decent positions. Ideally, they would have control of this south compound. I can't stress this enough. North compound, yeah, okay, this is fine. This is great. It's good that they've taken it. But Django, Flicker, and Grunt currently occupy the, the key compound for me in terms of where you want to be staging your forces and pushing in from the south. Um, and you do have to remember that this technical is still alive. Um, that's a really nice mobile asset that they can be using to redeploy and bring people in and generally just you know, use that mobility to their advantage. Just because you're defending doesn't mean that you have to, everyone has to sit in the same compound. I mean, yeah, I think you, uh, I mean, I think when it comes to that, uh, Dishka, there's a lot of ways you can use it. Um, but I also think, I don't know if they have enough people left to really go throwing around a lot of manpower and different sizes. Oh, than that. Yeah, they can't. They can't. They can't go. Willy so nilly, they can't do. I mean, they can't do crazy things like drop a fire team off, you know, and try no, to get behind. Absolutely not. But it, it this, will thing is, this thing should still be moving, and I think they're about ready to start testing the waters and putting this thing on the northern road. Yeah, I mean, realistically, they still have two guys up in the north who need to be recovered. Uh, they've got a fire team out to the west, effectively, because you've got those two scouts at radio, and you've got Sugan. Uh, Cyclone, who are covering the West. Um, there's nothing wrong necessarily with you know sending the technical out to just go and you know recover recover those two guys in the North, bring them back, get in the fight. Bagger Joe and Flick took some flying. shots at Bagger Joe. Yeah, throwing rounds at each other there. It's gone a bit quiet now. These guys haven't really moved. Bagger Joe's kind of content to sit in this compound, has been for the last sort of ten minutes or so. Yep, yeah, just hearing some uh, command comms there that. Suggest it might be changing, but Flicker puts two in the bag of joke and bag of joke stabilized before he Ooh. bleeds out. 
Nope. It's gonna be close. Nope. Back Joe dead. More rounds this way. I think that was modern death. I think he may have uh, seen. I think Command don't get shot. Maybe. Uh, yeah, maybe that's uh... a. He's looking that way, so maybe. Hang on, is, is Dash be on the roof? Yeah, maybe it was it. No, maybe it was a Dash. Dash is on the roof. Oh. Okay, yeah, so he's shooting. Well, he's not going to be up there for much longer because. This tentacle's chomping at the bit yeah. to get moving. I mean, it should be at least on that north south road. Cause I mean, even, guess even, what? Even if Cause guess what? U.S. forces are gonna cross that road. They're gonna get. They're gonna come straight down north south. They want to be over in the. Uh, they want to be over the where Stalker is right now. I see. Uh, I see a lot of ponies pulling a squad out to the north. Yeah, this is a. Uh, this is the maneuver. This is just very this is, safe. <laughs> this is. Uh, have we got north south mixed up? No, break. he's going north. He's just very, he's very, he's very safe about it. Oh, dear. So Lorne has just, uh, as if by, as if by magic, Lorne has uh, proudly proclaimed that the scouts at radio have great vision of everything to the west of the compound, <laughs> which means... There go this this is this is um Well best pony, best of luck. Hopefully this gets in without you know hopefully a, Do these guys a, really though? I mean uh if they get through the wall. Basically if they get the Shigar's position, I think those guys have eyes. Shigart's gonna, yeah. gonna see him before um, before those guys at the uh, radio station will. Oh yeah, I mean, but the the point is, is that the west is the west is covered. Uh, and Sug's asking for last known any position updates. Should be asking Tinkerbell and Nova because they know. Command, this is. 18 kills for US, 21 kills for INS. Lorne thinks there's contacts. They, he knows there's guys in the north. Um, or he thinks there's guys in the north. And he thinks there's guys close on the east wall uh, or the east side of the compound. Well, uh, so as you see, don't get shot. And a fire team are still hanging out over there on the east side. They haven't moved. Oh, yeah. But it's it, that's a lot further away than I think he thinks it is. I think he thinks they're in the lavender field just opposite the, the river. So I mean, that's probably why the technical isn't moving. Uh, just because he's expecting someone to peek, I would. I'm, I'm spitballing that. But... That yeah, makes sense. I would definitely try to push. I mean, now it all comes down to: can the timing be correct? This is the the question I always ask with multi prong pushes here in squad ops. And yeah, it looks like it's. Not going to be anywhere close because Don't Get Shot is now moving and Hand Dog looks like he wants to start moving a little bit further south here. Don't Get Shot's pushing his guys outside the compound. Uh, Pony with NSA spy, with not an NSA spy, rather. Um, they're about ready. Oh man, is Nova going to be looking for this? Is Nova and Nova and Tinkerbell could be the real MVPs this is, right now? You you got to think about the the, the story around. They're looking that direction, though. Look at where they're looking. Yeah, they're looking off true. northeast, east. They're looking up the river because they're expecting them to come across straight at the bridge. But the, I mean, the story this round for Tinkerbell, like he's gone, he's taken out, he's got, he's been part of a team that took out the the gunner of the MRAP way over on the other side of the map, gets caught out in the river, tied up on his own. Lost, cut off from the rest of his squad, and somehow has managed to get back over here with friendly forces. That's uh, it's a hell of a round for him. Uh, and command is about to walk up on its position. If he hears it, he might even take out command. 
Let's and they've just called it out. Probably. They've just called it out. Northwest. Uh, this Tinkerbell. Tinkerbell's barrel is pretty exposed here. Pony wants. Pony smells blood. He wants to get a kill, but does guy he going to? That's one, but will he get Nova? Oh, yeah, he will. What a cheeky climb oh, there. Oh, Cyclone and Sook. And the tentacles lighten them the fuck up. I think... Is Pony dead? I think Command just went down to the tentacle. I got him, I got him. Yep. Not an NSA spy. No fear trying to get Ooh. flank on this. Sookheart just got yeah, taken out. That, Team kill by uh, the tentacle. Fine, you're fine. Yep, alright. Holy Pony got absolutely demolished. And Pony this should be blocked. the this should be the prompt for I don't get shot to start moving his boys out. They've taken the contact. The well, eyes are looking west. With command down, who's going to make that call? Yeah, well, this is where, as an as an SL, you got to you know, this is where you. Oh, this is where you three make reports. They have eyes on the techie. Maybe this is going to be the uh, the prompt to move out. Oh yeah. They tried. They're taking some shots at the uh, the dishka, and yeah, they hit Muff. So Muff gets off that thing, and Muff's dead. Wow, G-Man. I don't know if that was intentional or what, but G-Man just uh, destroys Muff there as Muff tries to take cover. All right, so there's. Uh... There are some big problems now for for INS here. Yeah. Uh, they need to get the they need to get all their bodies back onto the point uh, because what they need to do is actually yes, draw in the U.S. now. They have to draw in the U.S. now because yeah. they have to have the IEDs to do things. So otherwise, Storm and Snowfall are going to be pointless. Well, Storm and Snowfall are, are trying to pull back now. Modern Death Flicker, uh, Grunt still holding the southern side. Yes, they pulled off a little bit from uh, the initial positions, but they need to um, they need to be holding this compound proper now. They're going to clear a radio tower over here. Is what uh, Silas is going to do? So I guess they suspect they've been called out from that direction. So they're just going to clear to make sure no one's there. Of course, there's no one there. So. Not sure I agree with this decision from Don't Get Shot and Camillan to be to be firing. Uh, this is the time for them to be moving. The, the guys are looking elsewhere. Uh, they should be using this this distraction to, to get up closer and get you know get within uh, grenade range at least and start making making the insurgents think about you know another direction. I'm pretty sure the the Ameri uh, the insurgents are going to be happy for the Americans to shoot at them from that distance all day long. Um, they're mo they're going to be more concerned about the assaults coming in from the northwest. Oh, ham dog, leading an element. Uh, it's not entirely together. Uh, I think Deathcon is covering them from back here, but he's got to get moving too eventually. Yeah, but Ham Dog is uh, actual frag grenades getting now. ready Smoke to uh, make wait. an attempt. Oh, so Lorne thinks they're in the east northeast. He's tried. To, he tried to deduce based on the uh, the lack of contact or real contact for uh, the last couple of minutes. He thinks they're east northeast, which well, is that'd be not... the direction I would approach from if I were Don't Get Shot. But Don't Get Shot seems seems uh, he's content to just hold position and shoot it. You know, about 100, 150 meters. Not sure I agree with it, but, you know. Yeah, it's not. Hand dog in the meantime. There's He's just a... Yeah, there's just a own hands. Yeah. I mean, this is what needs to happen, and Silas needs to pull a 180 now. Oh, see, it's because they don't actually know which compound is it. Or it is. Um... Yes. Can you explain what Storm and S so Storm and Snowfall are finding a different position for their IEDs to be blown? Oh shit! Really close. Uh, oh, okay. No, this. Doesn't make sense. No, they're just gonna blow them. Yeah, but what they've, they've moved here because they know the west is compromised and they think the assault's coming from the east northeast. So they've moved to the far south so they can get eyes on and actors. as just walks up on Hamdog. 
saying Obama's still there. Not anymore. There's another one. An ID goes off in the south, so no one. Death, Death Con, Con dies to flicker. G-Man's also hit. Last man here, G-Man, out on uh, out on his own. And they know where he is. So this northwest attack is... Oh, there you go. As near as makes no difference, dead. Yeah. Uh, Unfortunate. Basically, this was going very well for the U.S. This had a chance of, for U.S. because, uh, only because insurgents didn't have everyone back. Well, yeah, I mean, once, once Pony went down, it sort of fallen apart quite rapidly. Uh, Pony was bringing in, yeah, there he goes. So Pony was bringing in a huge force from the West. Uh, had Pony stayed alive a bit longer, he could have probably brought this home, got people onto the wall, and we'd be looking at a, a compound breach right now. As it stands, there's a uh, there's a squad to the southwest of the U.S. trying to come in, and they'll get close. Like I say, this is a this is in a, the best way to come in um, in terms of an assaulting the an objective. And there are a few guys, Ooh. but. Look at this time here, east. Snowfall and Stormer heading out because, guess what, Don't Get Shot is on the move. Although Dashby is taking his time coming down off the roof. There we go, yep, uh, Don't Get yeah. Shot is stacking his guys up to move out. I guess he wants to go west right as uh, Silas really times a northern push here. Because he's wrapped all the way around so, from Rita Tower, he's... South of the uh, compound. So they've missed their initial timing um, in terms of uh, they sh they could they should have timed it with the assault from the west, but we might be able to see it recovered here now. Um, you're going to be attacking on sides. You've got Silas's team here moving in from the south. Um, you've got uh, Dashby and Don't Get Shot moving in from the east. Uh, at least this way because they're on sides that you know. And next to each other, they can they can coordinate better. Um, but and they've been called out and are being suppressed. Yeah, that that was a low percentage play, and I bet you Storm and Snowfall are just going to run right in behind these guys. Oh no! So if you look to the south, um, Silas has just walked past, or oh, there is an IED very close to this position. Uh, the fact if these guys have been seen, these guys would be dead. Um, there's a number of IEDs uh, yeah. on that, that route up. They've walked past a couple of them, uh, a couple of them. One of them was mine. Uh, this one is an IED, though. Uh, so as it stands, I think, uh, Storm and Snowfall are gonna get into a CTC fight with these, these guys get shot. It looks like Dashby went down. Yeah, Dashby's dead. Uh, so he's now all on this southern, this southern push. And they called out accurately. There's a fire team out to the east. Still no vision on the guys in the south. Silas could get up very close here. Nobody looking that way. Okay, they've opened fire. Vipers taking hits. So the element of surprise is gone. They have to get onto the wall now before they can redeploy. Yep, Viper. Uh, I don't know if he knows where they got shot from, but Supreme... Uh, oh, Viper's right. dead. The Supreme gets a frag. I don't think it's going to hit anyone. This is an excellent push from Silas. Supreme eats another frag. There we go. And... And now, all of a sudden, INS are in serious, serious trouble. Oh, look at this. Modern Death and Grunt are just running straight at these guys. Don't get shots dead. They're behind us. Storm goes down, gets tagged by Camillan. Snowfall has the flank. Potato's dead, and now Camillan's 1v3. But they have to be quick. shot in the face by Sevi or Londar. It's one of the two there, I think. Ooh, Camillan takes out one. One day finishes it off. Just walks up on him. So now we're down to Silas and, uh, nope. Yeah, I was going to say e -fank, but nope. Flick, flicker trades with e -fank. Silas wounded, uh, and as 
well as this was looking 30 seconds ago, uh, it's, I think this is all she wrote. INS moving more oh, guys he, back on. Silas onto thinks he killed the HBT, but it's not the case. Jenga also, uh, surprised. It's NSA, the last guy. Looks like it. Yeah, NSA and, uh, no, it's just NSA. He's got a GL. I imagine he's got no more rounds in it, though. Oh, he's, he's out. Snowfall's gonna see him. And that's all she wrote. Scorpion gets a kill. Ooh. What a way to end a round. And that was 35 kills for INS, 28 kills for US. About a squad's difference. Well, guys, thanks for coming out and watching an operation. Operation Nitro we played tonight. And it's the first time we've been using our mods since the uh, big update. And I went to the wrong... Oh my god. There we go, that's what I wanted. It's the first time we've used our mods since the update, so expect more shenanigans and different mods, or different maps rather, to be, uh, to be shown off here very soon. I know mod dev is working their ass off trying to get stuff done. We've got some cool things in store, all sorts of little, little interesting little tidbits that we've had in the mod before. They'll be coming back in time. But until then, um, for uh, all the squad ops and Blackbeard, this is B Car signing off. Y'all have a great evening.